boy. That dinner with your parents got me sweaty. <laughs> All right. Should we clap for the intro? Meme review. <laughs> Two claps. You don't know meme review? Oh um, yeah. This is a PewDiePie thing. Yeah. Anyway. Or Anthony Fantano meme review. Is that the uh, same different thing? Anthony Fantano. You've been doing it for a long time. Ah, uh, that that PewDiePie is stealing all the ideas. You know a little why. <laughs> Anyway, Hello. Let's, let's talk about the movie. We just watched 1968, uh, George Romero's Night of the Living Dead. That was pretty crazy. Um, here we are. Post, post-taco, post-living dead. Gave Lauren a little time to... Pre-talk. Pre-talk. Gave Lauren a little bit, little bit of time to think about it. I've totally forgotten about everything that happened in the movie. Wow. Just like I forgot everything about The Last Jedi, except for the weird milking bit. <laughs> That was, that was on for Yeah, people. exactly. So, to start. And Bill Murray agrees. Bill he's Murray's he's back there, apparently. Steve Z. It's super great. <laughs> it is. So, what, what were your thoughts, opinions okay. on the film? I liked it. It was pretty good. Mm. I would give it, like, a 9 out of 12. No, you wouldn't. Sure. Really? It was pretty good. It's way higher than what you said. You said you were going to give it a 6, probably. Or a 7. Wow. But it, it was well. surprisingly good. That was the, the thing. There were, there were some funny bits. There were some legitimately interesting bits, like the whole the whole thing between the bald guy and the, the, the muscular guy. And then he shot him. That was pretty good. Mm -hmm. And yeah. It was, it, I was, I was surprised how, uh, nicely real it felt. Like, mm -hmm. modern day movies have a very much of a disconnect between death and all of that, but like, this movie felt like real people dealing with that situation. So would you say that the, the film takes place over the course of one night, yes. the entire film, you mm -hmm. feel almost like you're a character within the building with just sitting along for the ride. That's how I... I yeah, I I feel like it's kind of a, flaw, a fly on the wall kind of movie. Like Jeff Goldblum's The Fly. I haven't seen that movie either. Oh, crap. I gotta watch it. so many movies I haven't watched. I'll help you knock them out. Oh, boy. Sure. I'll, I'll help you watch Doctor Strange again. Don't worry. I know you love that movie. <sighs> My sunburn, too. <laughs> <laughs> the double... <laughs> double <ooh>. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else is there to address? Uh... When you I, think of the the characters in the film, none of them are actual actors yeah, at all. They were that, all office job workers who were friends of George Romero, and he said, would you want to be in a movie? Let's cast you for a part. Whoever did the best, got it. Yeah, so of, of his friends, what do you think of the acting ability? It was extremely impressive. Even for like today's standards, that was pretty good acting on most of their parts. How did you feel about the end where... The, the SWAT team or the the band of right. cleanup crew come along. I flipping I flipping called your you twist did. ending that you, you did. bet twenty you, bucks you, on. <laughs> it was you had no clue. I feel until the, they hinted at it slightly, and right. then you you were all like, "They're gonna kill him." I bet, and then yeah, when we when, called it when what, two, the, two the minutes guy, before it actually happened, which was yeah, hilarious. right right before the 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 guy in the cellar. Uh, was going to open the door, I was like, they're, they're, they're gonna see him and shoot him. They're not going to be like, oh, look, it's a human. Yeah. Because they all, they're all, they're all humans. In a sense, yeah. Yeah. They were not zombies. They were just reanimated they were, corpses. They were ghouls. the living dead. <laughs> I'm gonna later. send you an audio sample. Oh, boy. Cut back in. <laughs> uh. Oh, no, I just, I just repaused it. That kind of... Are we stuck in a void? Kinda looks like it. Now I have no clue where we are. Welcome back to the review. <laughs> Brilliant. So, the big thing in the mm -hmm. film is you have the one guy's, the basement dweller, since you can't remember the names, the basement dweller mm -hmm. wants to stay in down there with his right. wife and his daughter. Yeah. I, th I thought that was a great compliment. And then the lead character, more or less, right. wants to stay up there. 
who do you think was in the right, or were they both in the wrong? I, I think that there were definitely good points being made for either, but yeah, because it, it depends on, because you can't survive in the solar for longer and you have more of a chance of surviving, but the problem is, is that if they just hang out there, you have no way of getting out and you have no way of being rescued, but in the rest of the house, it's way more vulnerable, so... I don't know, I, I thought it was a great uh, plot device. So, would you consider it horror or psychological thriller? Mm, I, I'd probably say it's more psychological thriller. Gotcha. There, there wasn't really any horror in it. What did you think of the, uh, the gore? Very very primitive, yet very out there. It, it was very um, real, I suppose. Uh, so much so that the cast and crew all got sick because the meat had gone rotten in the <laughs> hot filming of the summer. <laughs> that, was a, that was a big halt in the filming. How that, much did they have to where. pay them? I don't know. With, the, with a budget of 100000 about, and not everyone was paid. And they didn't make much money off the film at all. It right. being public domain. How, how did that happen? You just so happened to not copyright a film. Oops. Yeah, but th then it doesn't go straight in. Someone can still copyright it. Exactly. There are thousands of copies of this film out there. There's color copies, there's strange scans, there's edits. Well, there's... I know, but like you can copyright it afterwards. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I, I guess once it, it's, once it it's out there. It had already become a product. Right. I think. And it was um, under such heavy slander from the media that, yeah. I don't know, it was bound... It, it is successful in its own right for stirring the pot in, in the horror genre and going from the, the classic Universal to the Hammer to the exploitation era of the 70s. Mm -hmm. With such films as Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. And, which I don't know if that's considered exploitation, but boy, that trailer got me to watch it. Which Lauren will surely experience Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Oh boy. Keep an eye out for that one, unless you're watching this in the future. If you're watching this right now, uh, get out of my house, please. What's next? Your your choice is next. What's that? Ah, uh, let's see. What what else happened? Oh, in the film? Yeah. No, oh. I'm lost already. The Take taco it. got to me, man. The star well, tacos. Well, I guess I, we've we've covered pretty much the whole film. Yeah. Any, Final. Well, I have. Pull them back. Any right. final thoughts or notes or? Uh, let's see. What'd you rate it? What do I rate it? Mm -hmm. I already said nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. I might, I might, for some scenes, I put it at an eight or a nine. Yeah, I'm kind of in between. It depends on the day. Yeah. It, it's one of those films that, whenever you watch it, after a long day, at three in the morning. It's, it's, it's enjoyable in that right, but midday, it was kind of weird watching it midday. Yeah. So, I don't know. All right, eight, nine, I'd say an, an instant classic. Would you, would you... Staple in the horror genre. All right, would you mind going like this while saying your thing so I can edit it? Eight out of ten. <laughs> That's good. Enough. Nine out of ten. Maybe. That's a lot of editing I gotta do now. Okay. Bam, bam. <laughs> I'm a wizard. It's gonna take forever. You better give me a lightning fingertip. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna work upset. on it. I, I can do that. I'm very upset. Flipping. What do you want? Okay. Anyway. Uh, I would rate this movie. Uh, I'm not editing. Yes. <laughs> 9 out of 12. Better get the kid out of here. And, uh,. Let's see what uh this camera on. Uh, uh, kind of. I, I, might edit that down or I just have been held to cheer in Plunkett's household for some time now. I don't know if I will make it out alive or anything. If you get this message, no, please, please send for help. I've been here for weeks, possibly months. I don't know. Days turn into nights, nights turn into days. You, you I, I never know the guy. Sometimes I've been multiple. Who knows how long before the. Something. It could be three days. It can be a chest, a basement. It can be stored cellar. There was a lot of apples. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. But uh, anyways.
please send help. Uh, and then wraps it up. And I, and I called like 30 minutes before that the little girl was going to be a zombie. Oh, for sure. Like it's, a, it's a given, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Both of them. You owe me 20 bucks now. That's on camera. I got like $3 in my wallet. I had to buy gas, man. Well, it's intense. <laughs> you know how much gas costs now? Well, will we see them next time? I, I don't know if we will see them next time. I don't know. They'll see us. But more importantly, what's our next film going to be? What's our next? Oh, it's my your choice. Oh, jeez. Um, I've already got mine picked out for like months. Oh, I, I did too, but I don't know where I put my list. This is my next pick, everybody. So, let's let's clap it back in. Ready? Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Wow. Oh, we're back. We're back to paused. Okay. okay. It's paused again. Don't tell me that. Life is not like, Hello, well, <laughs> now we gotta restart. We're back. Right. I've decided. I looked through all of my lists. My picks aren't there, but uh, I did some, some research, and uh, we're gonna be watching whatever this movie is. It's right there. I, I don't know what it is, so we're gonna figure it out. Are you having a good time? Yep. <laughs> Anyway, be we're, a funny bit. <laughs> we're gonna be watching in, 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 in Avengers: Affinity Wars next month. That's an affinity if I've ever seen one. Um, so I guess we should christen this first episode, right? <laughs> Why is it the first episode? <laughs> Do you mind holding the glasses? Yeah. To christen us, we are having some some fine cider. What is this? This is a wine bottle opener. Oh, stop. Oop. I have to open it for... Just don't spill it everywhere if you, if you wouldn't mind. Christening. Second episode. <laughs> Third episode. Heck yeah. Ooh. To uh, the show, Mason's Movie Corner. I don't know why it's called My Movie Corner. I don't live here. What? Cool. It makes me cry. It reminds me of the summer my wife left me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just like put a bleep over it. Okay. Um, subscribe to Mr. Lobop. He paid me to say this. That's there you what Fiverr is for. Obviously. Uh, He's just a stranger. I have no clue who this guy Don't like the video. Yeah. Don't. Don't comment. I don't comment. want to pander to an audience. Yeah. If you want to do whatever you want to do, go for it. Yeah, but don't criticize our art. Yeah. I don't know. Before that. The end. Okay, are you ready? No. No, I'm ready.